Some of you woke up to a wild start to your morning. Thunder, lightning, heavy rain filled the sky in some spots, causing power outages along the way. Eyewitness News Inland Empire Bureau Chief Rob McMillan joins us now, live from Lake Elsinore, where there are still reports of people without power. But, Rob, it's hard to imagine looking at your live shot there. Yeah, it seems like all the weather has moved on right now. Again, according to Southern California Edison, still about 300 customers here in Lake Elsinore without power. But for us, it's been hard to find any of these specific neighborhoods without power. Still, for everyone here, it was one heck of a lightning show, and it came in during the overnight and early morning hours. Now, it looks like a system that moved in from the northeast because all of the problems really started in the high desert. This video is from near Barstow, and that's where some of the first outages happened. Actually, Actually, at the Fort Irwin Training Center. Also, massive power outages came in California City and near Mojave. That's north of Lancaster. Now, the official cause of these outages is indeed lightning, but we're still waiting to hear from Southern California Edison for more details. They also had lightning strikes in San Bernardino. That's where about 500 people lost power around 5 o'clock this morning. Also in the San Bernardino Mountains near Lake Arrowhead and Cedar Pines Park, at least, or at last check, about 1,000 people still without power. Also, we saw reports of trees on fire, small fires started by the lightning in Lake Elsinore and Murrieta. Of course, not much of a problem. Firefighters seem to get these fires out pretty quickly. But again, a number of possible reasons for these outages, either trees falling, bringing down power poles, or transformers being hit by lightning. We're still waiting to hear from Southern California Edison. Whatever the case, many Inland Empire residents got an early wake-up call today, one they weren't really expecting. Oh, I definitely woke you up. I have dogs, and they started started in when the when the thunder was going. It scares them. They're all trying to hide underneath me. <laughs> it's funny. But so, so did you look out your window, or, or what was oh yeah, at? you could see the flashes coming right through the window. It looked like somebody was taking pictures of you through the window <laughs> with the lightning coming through. And this, the power outages seem to be pretty scattered. Again, a couple of hundred outages here in Lake Elsinore, about 140 near Paris, a couple in High Grove, that's near Riverside. Looks like about 167 customers still without power in San Bernardino, and some of the biggest outages there in the San Bernardino Mountains. At last check, about 785 people without power in Cedar Pines Park. There's no specific time frame for these outages to be uh, restored, for the power to come back on, but we've been watching the Edison website all morning, and it seems like some folks have their power come back pretty much without warning. So hopefully they're getting a good handle on this. Again, when we have more information from Southern California, Edison will bring it to you. Reporting live in Lake Elsinore, Rob McMillan, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.